Hey, Phone Sites users. So I'm gonna walk you through the process of how to quickly and easily set up a QR code for your Phone Sites funnel. You might wanna add this on to say your, your thank you page. Um, that way after someone opts in, they can scan the QR code and be redirected to maybe uh, your website, your Facebook business page, your LinkedIn profile, um, send you a text, send you a phone call, whatever it happens to be, right? Um, so, or even to you know set it up to go to Messenger so they can start chatting with you. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to go to the dash QR code dash generator.com. And I know it's kind of probably hard to see the URL in the address bar up here, but if you just did a quick Google search for QR code generator. You can see there's a, a bunch of different options here. Um, some of these uh, are probably just as easy to use, but I'm using QR code generator, the website they list here is www.the-qrcode-generator.com. Okay, so let's go ahead and click through here. So what I'm going to select is, you got a couple options. You can do free text, URL, contact, phone, or SMS. Uh, I'm just going to set this up for a URL. So basically when someone scans through uh, my QR code that I'm going to set up on a phone size funnel, this is going to take them to whatever URL that I plug right into this field here. So for this uh, video, I'm just going to set up this YouTube channel, copy that URL at the top in my address bar, and then drop this into the enter URL field. And I can go ahead and save this file, uh, save a, an image that is of this QR code and then add this into my funnel. But before I do that really quickly, I just wanted to point out one thing. After you put in this URL, you're going to see that there's this little button that shows up in, under here. Uh, I'm not going to actually do that, but if I wanted to, that would just shorten the URL. Uh, it's going to use a domain that QR code generator has. So it's going to kind of obscure this URL. If you've used anything like Bitly uh, or Rebrandly or anything like that before for link shortening, you you, you see that it kind of hides where the, um, the ultimate uh, website or domain that you're going to uh, it, it hides it from the, the user so they can't actually see where they're going to. So you could do that if you wanted to. I don't really like that. I want to keep it pretty transparent so that they know when they scan this uh, where they're going to be going. Because there should be, maybe on your phone, it should like pop up and say, this is going to a YouTube channel or something like that. So, all right, I'm, I'm done adding in that URL. I'm going to go ahead and save this. I've got a couple different options after I give it a file name. So let's just call it uh, a YouTube channel. I've got a couple of different options. I can download this as a PNG file, an SVG, or an EPS. Um, for your phone size funnels, just stick with downloading a .png file. So this is the uh, the default. So I'm going to go ahead and select Save. And then that's going to save it uh, on my computer. And now I'm just going to go into phone size real quick. And for this thank you page that's set up for this funnel, uh, let's just go ahead and let's drop this into an image block. So. I've got an image block up here where I don't have any images. I'm just going to go ahead and click on no image so that I can upload this into the image. So there's the QR code. And that's all the way down here. And this is the one that I uh, just uploaded, or sorry, downloaded. So let's click that. And let's click insert. Uh, was that the right one? That might actually be f images from yesterday. Let me go back. No, that's the right one. So that's the right image code. Okay, so that's added in there. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. And let's say medium. Medium is probably good. And then uh, I don't want to put it right up here at the top because it kind of looks funny. I need to to guide the user in terms of like why, like what they're going to expect when they, they go to scan this QR code. So I'm just going to move this down a little bit, move down and move down. Oops. And then move down and then, okay. So let's move it down below that and that button. Oops. I keep doing the wrong thing here. Bear with me. There we go. Okay. So I wanted to move it down below the, the download now button because I already had some text here on the page, basically telling them that they, uh, 
you know, guide them along the path here of saying that if they click this button here, that they can download whatever I'm providing to them for this funnel, right? But now I need to put in a little bit of text in between this uh, call to action and then the QR code. So let's go ahead and do that. So I want to add in a text block really quickly. And I'm going to move that up, move up, move up. And so, so now this text is going to show up right up above my QR code. We can just say here, and let me, let me make that a little bigger too. Let's say size four. And then I'm just going to say, um, scan the QR code below to check out all the awesome tips you share on YouTube. All right, so there we go. And then let's just open this up into a new, new tab here. So there you go. So there's the thank you page. And then if I had my phone with me right now, it's in the other room, I could pick it up and scan that QR code. And then uh, on my phone, I could just click on it and then be redirected over to YouTube. So it's as easy as that, guys. If you have any questions, let us know.